I'm bothered too. <laughs> Oh. Seriously, thank you guys for tuning back. We've got another episode this week of Supposedly Simple, where we put, at the moment, meal kit to the test. There you go. We are testing and challenging you. Fresh prep this week. Hello, Fresh. Hello, Hello fresh, fresh this week. Fresh so last week we did. we did fresh prep. No, the week before, but sure. Oh yeah, we did Urban Fair last week. I hope you guys caught that one. If not, go to the Facebook page, go to the YouTube page, Rewatch it because it was an interesting one. And it'll, it'll get something. you up to speed with what's happening now. Otherwise, none of this will make any sense. It's not going to make sense, guys. It's like a good book. Like, you want this to be a page turner, a cliffhanger. We leave you with every episode. No? Mm. People don't want to Okay, let's in? go. Uh, what are we doing? We're doing Hello this Fresh. This week, we're doing Hello Fresh, you guys. You might Actually, remember. I always get this. You get it. You get it this time. Liz. I will get it. So, Hello Fresh meal prep kit, supposedly simple, meant to be an easy solution to uh, what do we have for dinner tonight, Michael? I don't know, Alicia. We have no time. What should we have? Let's order Hello Fresh. This is a yeah. two way conversation, but right now it's, it's a It's hard to have a two way conversation with Alicia sometimes because she gives you the, the thing you would say, and then you're just kind of standing there being like, it's true. Whoa! It's, it's like a delicious. huge box this week. You had a cool cooler bag. I have a huge box. Ah! Okay. A huge box. Here we go. I didn't say it. You guys, what are we I'm doing this saying. week? I think it's pretty obvious. It's HelloFresh. Something great about Canada, just wow. if you don't live in Canada, uh, is they always put everything in French as well. Yes, Michael, tell us what HelloFresh is in French. Le super. Siest uh, Frogo Rock. C'est la vie. Oh. Bonjour. Bonjour, hello fresh. For all our Quebec viewers out there. What have we got, Michael? A Say lot. hello to... A lot of cards. You know what? Say hello to sustainability. We love that because there's been a lot of plastic. Okay, I'm just going to put that down. Single this, use this plastic. Is enormous. No, no. I don't know if this is important. I don't think so. Let's just dig in there, hey? Oh. <gasps> you guys... We are so spoiled for choice this week. It looks like there's one, two, three options. Oh, like funny. what the actual heck? Michael, would you like to do the honors of Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Moe this week? Okay. I would love to do that. Be my Ready? arms, I'll hold no, them. I want to do come it on. by myself. No, come on, it's a team effort. Yeah, you love it. Ready? Get in there. Come on, come on. Okay, here we go, you guys. Ready? Okay. Can you hold that down or you need me too? Okay, I have weirdly three arms, but okay. Here we go, you guys. This is our HelloFresh uh, pick of the night. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay, that's this the one, one. we're going to pick. This one, yeah, we do. <laughs> oh, and it's purple. Because the middle child is the best child. Everyone knows that, don't we? I think you're a middle child. What? And I'm a middle child. Just well, saying, we picked the middle the box. Now the show has so. an agenda that people didn't tune in for. <laughs> I'm going to uh, put this back in the fridge, you guys. Just put it in the, in the ground. Yep, it's going here. Michael, what are we cooking tonight? We're doing Cajun spiced oh. chicken burger. A burger? Yeah. Cajun spiced chicken burger. I love me some chicken burger. Okay, oh my god, I'm so excited. All right, That is bring actually it on. pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about that as well. Yay, do we have any viewers? Has anyone tuned in? Like, tell us, what are you having for dinner? What are, what all are all you? Stuff? Hello freshing for dinner. Yes, lots of promotional material. Good, love it. Probably some instructions in here. Okay, Liz, you need to just uh, slow it down so people can understand what you're saying. Ready, set, cook. I think the instructions will be in there though. Yeah, but I want to know what this is. Why did this come with the thing? Oh yeah, this is, I don't really care about that anymore. That is just that. Say hello to sustainability. Uh, it tells you how to recycle, I think, by the looks of this, uh, which is pretty cool. Be sustainable, guys. Also, give $40, get $25, some promotional stuff. <laughs> Can't really be bothered with that. Oh, look at this one. Oh, it gives you like little breakdowns of what we're actually <gasps> making. So that's, See, that's like that. Cool. So that's another way we could have chose. Uh, but that's not fun. No, 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 but like bring out the one that we're making. Okay, yeah, yeah, this one. Yeah, this bring, one. yeah leave that, that one. I'll do this. Okay, Cajun Spice Chicken Burger, you guys. That is what we have decided on. It's gonna be... A Cajun a spice chicken burger. It's gonna be a heck and hoot. Cajun spice chicken burgers. Here we go. All right, let's go. Michael, do you want to try and talk to Alexa this week, or we haven't, we haven't started yet? We're gonna start. We're opening the bag. This is I'm like the time out, of I'm time. I'm putting out all the ingredients. Oh my gosh, People we're like never gonna be able to be accurate with our times. I apologize for that, but okay. Let's unbox. What have we got? Also, number one, okay. love the plastic bag, uh, paper bag. Number two, don't love the plastic, but that's okay. Okay, but 
This is labeled, so that's good. That's <gasps> dill. We do love labels. I don't know if you guys have like been tuning in, but we do love a label. Dill. Do you, do you tuning in? <gasps> uh, uh, Gail. Oh, hello, Gail. Hello. Hi, Hi Mom. Thanks for tuning Matisse. in. Hi, Matt. Uh, Thanks for my tuning in. Is on to Marianne. Hi, oh, Marianne. Marianne. Hi, Marianne. Welcome, Rainy's sister. Glad you're here. That's awesome. These are burger buns. That's really cute. Move on from that. As much as much as I hate <laughs> plastic, that's really cute. Two is, little right? burger buns. That's uh, really adorable. You can look, what is it? That is. Okay, sorry. So this is our Cajun spice blend. Mm, this is gonna be coming out your fast leash. You gotta be rushing. Uh, some honey, probably. Uh, oh, literally just honey. That's amazing. Oh, two started, honeys. Hey? Two honeys. That's great. A bit oh, <laughs> gosh. Well, if you insist, Hello Fresh. Well, uh, it's flour, guys. Chill out. Um, a tomato, <laughs> and what have we got? Some spring mix. I want to say there's probably like some romaine and kale and purple cabbage in here. Um, and then we also have some mayonnaise. Everybody loves some mayonnaise. I'm sorry for our vegan friends out there. This is not a vegan friendly dish tonight, but that's okay. It's going to be delicious. Dijon mustard, a baking powder. Baking powder. Uh, baking red. Soda. Sorry, that's what it was. Yeah. I was trying to baking think of the song. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, Bacon soda. Red wine vinegar. And that's it. This is exciting. Okay, wait, is there instructions? No, the instructions are on this, I think. Oh, okay, on our little cue card. That's awesome. All right, we are raring and ready to go. We are also, raring. Also, Gail, Mum, is Poppy watching? Because I would love to say hi to Poppy if you can let me know. All right, here we go. He is stuck in, uh, let's see. Uh, Dad is stuck at Bunnings. Oh. Alicia's dad is stuck at Bunnings. Bunnings is somewhere to get stuck at. It's guess like a Canadian Depot or Home Home Depot, whatever you call it here, Canadian Tire. So much stuff to do and see. Anyway, we'll continue on without you guys. I'm very sorry. The show must go on. Okay, should we Ready let, let's see not. see how long this is supposed to take? Yes, let's have a look. Uh, I don't see any time limits anywhere here. It's probably 30 minutes because that's what it's been in the past. 30 minutes, yeah. Pronto, it says. Pronto! So the, the instructions are kind of rushing me along here. Like, you know, pushing yeah, me along. Yeah, get going, get um, going. So we want to use Alexa, our good, oh shit. I mean, Dan. Hey. <laughs> um, Alexa, start a timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, starting now. Alexa's on point today! It worked for the first time. Thank think, you, ever. Alexa. All right, Michael, what are we doing? Okay, pat the chicken dry with paper towels and then cut it in half. Okay, where's the chicken? Yeah, where is the chicken? I'm gonna guess the fridge. What's step two? I mean, maybe. No, sink? No, fridge. Is it in the box? Oh, it is might be something? in the box. There, there, there's a cooler thing in the bottom of the box. There's a so cooler in the bottom stuff. of the box? Yeah, that's where the box oh is Oh my so god, enormous. you guys, okay, sorry. The enormous box is also gonna have a cooler something in it. Alright, here we go, yeah. here we go. Why would you do it? Oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jeez. That's alright, we got I it. I know it's not. <laughs> spilling stuff everywhere. That's okay, that's ah! okay. Here we go. There is a massive cooler in the bottom of this box. Well, I hope nobody needed this. This is how it goes at home, you guys. Michael just cleans up after my mess. Hey, what do you know? There's beef strips in here. Ow. This is actually Ow. great because now we know how it's usually packaged if you receive it at your door. So right at the bottom is obviously going to be your protein slash meat. We had beef strips. We have chicken legs. Mike, babe, does it say whether we're using chicken legs or not? No, I'm busy cleaning. I don't know. Um, okay, I'm gonna guess it's just chicken legs. Well, no, no, why would you put chicken legs on a burger? That makes no sense. Oh. It says pat chicken dry. I'm sure there's chicken somewhere in there. Um, I don't think there is. Come on. And then there's hey. cooler bags. Ooh, maybe. <gasps> that's not the timer. We're not oh, 30 minutes I was here. like, how did we lose that? Oh, no, there is more. No, I there's think that's chicken. just more. Just take it all out. Oh, okay. So doing? we had beef strips, which is maybe our other option. And then we had chicken. Chicken legs, skinless, boneless. It's not that. Um, then, well, then we have some cooler bags. And then we have more cooler bags. I promise you, there's no, no chicken in here. That would be ridiculous. Do we have to start a different it's one? It's going to be chicken legs. No, why would... Oh, the fridge is open. I'm sorry, Mr. Fridge. I'll shut you. The chicken? Yeah, it's going to be the chicken. Think it's that? Do you think it's that chicken? It says we need chicken. That's the chicken. It's fine. That's going to be the chicken. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah no, no, we're I mean, going to looks... use it. We're gonna go with it. Does it say chicken legs? Ah, uh, it could be. Yeah, that's yeah, definitely that could be chicken, chicken legs. That could be chicken. It's the fine. picture is it's guiding us. It's frozen solid, oh. by the no, way. No, it's fine. We're gonna run it under some water. We're gonna thaw it out. It's gonna be great. Just it's throw it straight in the thing. Let it thaw out while it's cooking. Um, here we go. I'm gonna put this back in the fridge, and then I'm gonna rinse it under some water. I love cleaning. 
It's so fun. So much fun for me. Okay. All right. Oh, it doesn't go that way. Oh, okay. Here we go. We have done nothing this on this one so far. We've just That's literally fine. been... fine. We're like a minute in. We're like five minutes behind. Okay. A minute in. Somehow we've managed to do that. I'm going to cut this open and get the chicken cracking. I'm going to I'm gonna keep cleaning. Okay. It's really going to get messy up in here. Okay. Here we go. Kitchen scissors. I'm not going to use the same utensils for chicken this week, you guys. There was the possibility that I maybe did that last week. Not going to happen this week. Not going to happen. Okay, here we go. Here we go what? Where's... I'm going to put this on a plate. I'm going to rinse them. Okay, well, I'm going to move on because that's ridiculous. Um, pat chicken dry with pepper towels and cut it in half. Season with salt and pepper. Combine with Cajun Well, we know how to do that. Flour and uh, chicken tusk. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, so many chicken related things. Well, I'm sure the there's a bakes, tomato there that has to be roughly cut. Roughly chop two tablespoons of dill. How do you measure this in a tablespoon? You gotta chop it up. Chop it up finely. Right? That's what everyone does. You chop it up finely, probably. Sure, let's do that. Let's do you want a chopping board? Here's my, my um, I do actually signature want a miniature chopping, chopping board. board. I'm gonna do that. Can I have the chopping board? Actually, yeah, yeah I have chicken fingers, yeah, so guy. I don't wanna do that. You always have chicken fingers. I've got chicken fingers. Okay. Nice sharp blade. Um, yes. Ooh, I just turned it to, oh, there we go. Guys, this is fancy. Okay. It's very exciting back there, guys. Uh, the nozzle turned from like a shower to like a hard spray. You know when you're in those like fancy hotels where it goes from like a Ish. soft sprinkle to like a- Would you, would you say? Uh, that this was two tablespoons of dill. I'm gonna ask you to chop it and then we can measure it. Oh, That's as in the, the amount How that they that? supplied? That. Yeah, most no, likely. They said, they said roughly chop that. So roughly chop it like... And your mom says to use the uh, MC to defrost, which I'm assuming is the microwave. The microwave? Use the microwave to defrost, that's clever. I don't know, Mom. You haven't seen the size or complexity of this microwave in this kitchen, so... That's like a, yeah. That's it's a good like idea, though. It's like you need a degree in something to operate that microwave. Do the thing. Do that. Do that, Leash. Leash really doesn't like oh. uh, defrosting things with a microwave. I don't like defrosting meat. I'm sorry. You're going to have to now. It's weird. You're going to have to do it. Watch oh, out. Okay, Mom. I'm going to, at your bloody recommendation, defrost this uh, chicken. But there's supposed to be a setting. Oh, pound defrost. Yeah, right. Like, how many pounds is this? I don't know. What are uh, we in? What are we in? North America? It's... Yeah, it doesn't actually say. Wait, there's a cooking guide on the inside. It says chicken breast, number two. And then it says presets. So maybe I'm just going to press number two. I don't want to cook it though. I just want to defrost it. Oh, we're into a wormhole of technology right here. Okay. The microwave is like the easiest appliance. Smart defrost. Kitchen. Defrost one. We actually want defrost two. Start. Why don't we want defrost two? What was wrong with defrost one? Because two was chicken. I don't know. We're just going to roll with it. You guys want me to use the microwave? Microwave's rolling. Let's see. What's next Next just, step? Just uh, just, just, just keep an eye on, on the chicken. I got it. It's in one ear out the okay, other. Okay, roughly chop remaining tomato. Okay, so I don't know... Oh, thinly slice one tomato. Wait, you, there was only one tomato in the bag? No, there was two. Oh, there's two. There's okay. two. I, I slid the other one in there. So I need another cutting board. Oh, okay, another cutting board. I got you. I got you. Let's get like a blue one. A blue one? Oh, oh, I don't have a blue one. I do have, however, a yellow one. A purple one? Oh, well, we got purple. an orange one already. Let's purple. go purple. Oh, wow, that's there huge. There you go. It's a big one too. Let's do it. Uh, you want to do this bit, Leash? Sure, I'll roughly chop. Uh, Can I use the no, same no, knife? No, 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 no. Thinly slice. Don't oh, roughly chop. Thinly, thinly slice. Thinly slice one tomato. <laughs> Can uh, pay attention. All right. Here we go. Thinly slice. Like, just slices. Okay. It says thinly slice, but then the remaining tomato you're supposed to roughly chop. Oh, I wonder what we do with the remaining tomato. Also, I hope no one's judging me on my thin slices out there. That's People awkward. People aren't judging you just on the thin slices. Well, I mean, it's Those awkward, are thick it's awkward because there's leash. no timer on that microwave. Like, it doesn't say it's gonna be ready in like... What? T minus seven seconds. Just it's touch still pretty it. frozen. Yeah, but I go. think we could probably cut it. Well, I don't want to cook it from frozen, so just let it go, see what happens. I'm okay to cook it from frozen because Roughly chop this. What are you Quality doing? Quality check. Tomato is good. Sorry, thinly sliced tomato. We didn't wash these yet, though. How did you not wash the tomato? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's fine. Hello, fresh. I trust you. What am I doing with this one? Hello, fresh. It's very good. I said roughly chop. Come on, man. Oh, I don't even know what roughly chop is. I only know how to dice or slice. Yeah. 
dice and slice your brain. Well, maybe that's also, what Also, here is your, like, one third of a beer that was left, by the way. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. The rest of it's over there if you want it. It's on Thank the ground. Thank you. All right, what's after the roughly chop? Uh, stir together. No, wait, you haven't done it yet. Yeah, it's Stir chopped. together dill and mayo in a small bowl. I can do that. You can do that. Wait, there's small bowls behind us. There's small bowls in here, but they're glass. I probably shouldn't touch this. the glass. <laughs> We... Keep you away from glass, hey? No, where's the little mixing bowls? Use those ones, they're cute. I want the mixing bowls. What are you talking bowl. about? Aren't the they mix... the mixing bowls? Yeah, what are you talking about? Those are the mixing bowls. Those are regular bowls. I don't know what you mean. I okay, like, that's roughly like chopped. They move stuff around in here to make me just... The matrix all up in yeah, here. Yeah, look, this is the mixing bowl. Oh, the glass ones. Okay, you want to be fancy. Okay, I that's do want to cool. be fancy. That's cool. All right. That's why I want my fancy shoes. Oh, you have socks on, not fancy shoes. But. These are my fancy shoes, they're my socks. <laughs> um, in a small bowl, uh, dill and mayo. Dill and mayo. Oh, okay, this, this yes, got you, got you, got you. Mayo, mayo. Cute right. little satchel. Like, okay, dill and mayo. I thought that said brain powder. I was like, we can all use some of that. It's baking powder, don't worry about it. Um, okay, and then I'll open these. They might not be... Oh, they might need scissors. Okay, I'll grab the scissors. No, I Wait, won't. I'll grab a knife just behind. Do you put anything in the bin? There's this gross chicken bag here. Yeah, I did. we didn't have a bin at the time. We've had a bin all I was winging it. Day. Babe, does it say to add both the mayonnaises? It said just put the mayonnaise in there, I don't know. Okay, because there's so two. So to get the dill and mayo in a small thing. All right, well, we'll add both. No. One? Yeah, both. Put both in there, why not? Both, okay. All right. Let's do it. You let's know? do it. Let's just let's do it. Let's live on the edge a little bit today, because it's Friday. Also, this is the instructions we're using down here. down on Friday. If you can see that. That's what we have. It's actually really well laid out. It is. The instructions are pretty great this week for Hello Also, Fresh. you said they didn't have a timer, but it just went off. <gasps> okay, well, at least we didn't burn it, hopefully. We'll see. We'll see. Well, it's Everyone not, you, tune in. You wouldn't have burnt it. You would have just cooked it a little, which is... It's kind of weird, though, doing. isn't it? It's kind of weird to cook chicken in a microwave. To you. It's not to me. I've cooked many things in microwaves. One time, I, I cooked a human head in a microwave. I don't know how entirely, entirely accurate that is. Did I just but... say that? Um, what should I mix this with? Uh, uh... All right, we're testing the chicken. Oh, it looks defrosted. Mum, that may have been the best recommendation I cook with one of these? ever. I mix I'm not done with the mixing. Um, I would certainly use a spoon or a fork in that drawer. What would you use a fork for? Because that's just going to not get it enough. There's not enough of it I'm there to... This. Okay. Um, what did it say to do with the chicken? Because we're a little behind on that. Um, dry with pepper towels, then cut... Wait, then cut in half? Oh, okay. That um, has worked perfectly, by the way. We did have paper towels last week. Smells like mayonnaise and dill. Somewhere in the kitchen drawer I'll find paper towels lurking. There are no paper towels, I already looked. Oh, you already looked for paper towels? No. So we're not going to pat it dry? Okay, we're just, just going to cut it in half. pat it down with your sleeves. Um, um, there should be some. There should be some paper towels. Somewhere. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, wait, wait. Hello, we've got the paper towels. Oh, oh. Bullock. I'm oh. holding a glass bowl, Alicia. I what are you throwing paper it. towels at me for? I could have kicked it. Okay, that we'll use to clean up no doubt the mess I make later. Oh, that's good, that's good. The fresh that's ones good. that aren't put that on aside. the ground, we will pat dry this chicken. Which is something I've really never done in my life. I don't really know what the point of patting dry chicken Combined is. Combine Cajun seasoning, flour, and we're doing this out of order too, by the way, because Alicia didn't defrost the chicken somehow before we got here. Oh, um, my apologies. Yes. My apologies. How could you do that? I did not know that, Cajun that was my seasoning, job. flour, and one half tablespoon. Oh, see, that's perfect. That's powder. easy to cut in half. In a medium bowl. You have a medium bowl, Leash? I don't know where you're going with this. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm patting it dry and then cutting it in half, but I don't really know how to cut it in half. They're like right. chicken legs. And then cut in half. Do you know what I mean? Like, how should I cut it in half? Like, right down the center. But there's kind of like two here, so should I just leave it? You're cutting them in half, man. Like, oh, just cut, like not slice. I don't so know, there's going to be four. There's probably going to be four because I think this makes four. Does it say anywhere that it makes four? I think well, it makes should we four. Just use, should we just do... No, let's do what they said. Yeah, we'll do what we'll, they if say. If we have extra chicken, we'll just put Make on... Make more burgers, exactly. Well, we only have two buns, but sure. Oh, yeah, that's kind of weird that it makes four and there's only two buns. What? Crazy. Okay, pat it dry. I'm going to cut it in half. Um, I need another cutting board if you don't mind coming to this drawer and grabbing... Says, uh, Mike, see fiddlesticks instead of the f bomb. I can't. I can't. Uh, Did I, I haven't said the F-bomb yet. Yeah, you swore. It's fine. When? Um, yeah, under there. Let's go yellow. What is going on right now? I'm holding chicken breasts. I don't think that I said the F-word. I think I said shit. <laughs> Maybe. Ew. 
Thank you, Raimi. I appreciate that. Uh, Oh, a little just, bit of that hit me on the chin. Just because Raimi <laughs> was so grossed out by that. I'm going to get a new knife because raw chicken. I'm going to wash my hands because raw chicken. Combine Cajun seasoning, flour, and a half a tablespoon of baking powder in a medium bowl. So we need a medium baking bowl. Baking powder. Oh, you're cutting the chicken. Okay. I'll cut the chicken. So sorry, babe. You just want me to cut it like directly in half like this? Yeah, I mean, yeah? it's got to fit on a, on a burger, basically. That's what you need to think about. I don't know, size it's kind size. of weird to so shape let it. Me cut it, like, cut it that no, way? No, 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 no. Like, cut like, so you want a burger, right? So, like, like cut this? it like. As if you put it on a burger, like that. Like cut this little that. gumbo off. Yeah. yeah, but like that should be on a burger itself. Well, we don't oh, have okay, four right. burgers, we only have two. So we're going to be eating these. All right, okay. So you know right, what I mean? I'll cut them burger style. There we go. All right, we're cut in half. Sweet. What's next? Just have another. I'm, I'm still doing my step, man. Oh, I, okay. I don't know. I'm combining Cajun seasoning, which is. <gasps> oh, I just realized it's Cajun. I love some Cajun seasoning. Cajun spice blend, okay. I'm going to assume, is the same thing. Washing hands. Chicken bad. Putting this in the bin so Michael doesn't have to clean up and yell at me later. Oh, I'll probably still do that anyway. Probably. It's kind of my hobby. Okay, what do we got? I, I tell you, I'm still doing my step. I don't know what you're doing. Okay, sweet. Pension so, flour and half a teaspoon. <laughs> tablespoon? Oh, I gotta bake the chicken. Half. So they give me a whole amount, so I just put half this, I guess. Season with salt and pepper combined occasion. Oh yeah, you can only use half because I think I need half for the chicken. Okay. Okay. Is that what yours says? Only use half? Okay. Guys, very simple instructions to follow. I'm digging it. Yeah. I'm digging it. Hello. F oh. We need our old friend's salt and pepper. Cut in half. Season with salt and pepper. <laughs> okay, oh so we have dear. a battery issue here with our pepper. So we're just going to so proceed pepper, can you twist without. It? You can't. No, I, I think it's... Like pepper is overrated. Pepper is so overrated. <laughs> I agree with yeah. Raimi. Pepper is overrated. We're just going to season with some salt. It's going to have Cajun spice on it anyway, you guys. So it's going to be fine. It's, it's going to be flavorful. Some even like salt. Pepper. I'll flip it over. Put some... Oh, we lost a bit of chicken breast there. Pepper is the Tito of the Jackson 5. Who's Tito? Exactly. Oh. Flour. Tune in if All you know who flour? Tito of Jackson, Jackson 5 is. is. Um, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know what it says. The sale no, it's flour. 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 Look. Or is this what you're doing right here? Oh man, you scared me because I literally put it all in when you said that. <laughs> it was too late. Are you doing this, step one? Uh, yeah, we okay. had to go back. We had to go back. We're doing this out of order because the chicken wasn't ready. Sorry, so we had to thaw back. the chicken. <laughs> so I'm gonna mix this with it. No, perfect. Spoon. I feel like you could have maybe, you did add all the Cajun. No, that's good then. Can my Cajun seasoning, flour, and half a teaspoon of baking powder. You got the baking powder? Yeah, yeah, the rest of it is here if you Sweet. need it for later. No, I love that. Add chicken, toss to coat until no seasoning remains in the bowl. Okay, boom. There you go. This sweet, is, you want uh, me to do this because I've got chicken know. hands? Yeah, chicken fingers. Okay, put sweet. Them in. Uh. I'll toss and then you just have to let me know where I'm going to put this once it's Add all coated. one tablespoon of oil and toss to coat. Oh, we need oil in here? Toss to coat until no seasoning remains in the bowl. And then add, add a tablespoon of oil and toss to coat. That's cool. We'll just keep coating and tossing. Transfer to parchment lined. Oh, and then we need a um, oven baking sheet ah, thing. That's funny. Um, transfer to a parchment lined baking sheet. Bake yes. in the middle of the oven. I'm in charge of too many things here. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, you guys, this smells so good. I don't know if anyone's a huge fan of Cajun, but... Watch out. <laughs> There's hair in my mouth. Um, oh, it smells phenomenal. Alfoil works as baking... We used it last paper. time, so let's yeah, do sure. it again. Let's Absolutely. Do it. I feel like we probably should have preheated an oven at some point then. It says, hi, guys. Who does? Anna? Do we know Anna? Hi, Anna. Know Anna. Anna McDougal. Anna oh. McDougal, yes! She's no. my friend. Everybody yes, Anna McDougal is a Canadian, currently living in Australia. Oh. I want to say, Anna, are you still somewhere around the Gold Coast region? But that's awesome. Thank you for tuning in. Hi. Like, incredible. We miss you. I miss you. I miss you too, Anna. Come back. You actually met Anna. She had the Did amazing I? eyebrows. Yeah, blonde with amazing eyebrows. Oh, of course. Yeah. Well... <laughs> I don't know, that's how I told you to remember her. Okay, um, we also have to preheat an oven here, but it doesn't I'm looking say... for a tray, man. I don't know what the trays are. So There's going to be like... one somewhere. It's all good. This is terrifying. There's like a weird chemistry set down the bottom of that. So I don't know what's going on here when we're not around. But... Remy, what else do you do in your kitchen? <laughs> no, that was chicken. Science uh... is cool. Yeah, science is cool. Science is cool. Where science am I finding the cool. thing? Where's the tray? <laughs> I think in the bottom of one Where of these. Where's the tray? <laughs> In the I, bottom. I'm literally out of ideas. I've looked at nothing and I'm out. Okay, well then I'll come to the rescue. Huh? What are we looking for? Uh, an oven tray. In the oven? Did you try in the oven? Is it one, Why would it be in the oven? That's ridiculous. Sometimes you store ours no. there. Oh, okay. It should be over here. Over here? Yeah, like where you said the was. <laughs> oh, it was under the chemistry set. 
<laughs> right in front of your eyes. Do we need, we could probably just do that one, right? Um, yeah, absolutely. It's not too huge. For sure, for sure. Um, but babe, I think we were supposed to add oil. Do you mind just grabbing like a, tin, a tinsy bit of oil just to add to this? Just so, so we follow the instructions correctly? In this yeah, one? I think so. You got it! I want the olive oil. Ah. And then we'll and line it and bake it. It says one tablespoon. Should we measure it or should I just guess? Just wing it, you know? We're professionals right. at this point. Let's or measure not. it. No, let's measure it. Let's be... Where's the measuring thing? You can use a an actual tablespoon if you want. That's not the same thing. Well, I mean, it's close. It's true. And then we do one of these. Whoop. There you go. And I'll just smear that in. I guess maybe that's so it doesn't stick to the foil when we bake it. What? Is this chicken? No, no, that's for later to clean our mess because that hit the floor and I didn't want to use it to wipe to pat the chicken. Okay. Keep up, keep up. Well, I don't know what's going on in your <laughs> head. <laughs> it's a mess. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm still doing the thing that I was doing, but I don't remember what I was doing. Lining um, the thing with foil. Is that it? That's I think so. so easy. Why I think is that you're taking good. me so long? You're Gucci. We couldn't find a pan. All right, you guys, here we go. Transferring this to this. I still am confused as to why we didn't preheat the oven. It doesn't even tell me what the oven is supposed to do now. I know. Well, it tells us to cook it until golden for 18 to 20 minutes. At what temperature? Wait, there's an asterisk. What is the asterisk? Conf like, what is what that going to do? temperature does this need to be preheated at? Oh, before starting, preheat the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Great. Well, oven, I'm gonna I'm gonna preheat it to 500 degrees, and then we'll see how we do. Hey, that's good math. That works out. You know, just double it and halve it because what do I put science on? is cool. Yes. Yeah, do I put it on roast or bake? Bake. What's wrong with roasting it? I mean, I'm pretty sure it said to bake the chicken. I don't know what's wrong with roasting it, but bake a chicken. Bake, yeah. It's a piece of cake to bake a perfect cake. Yeah. What? <laughs> okay, well, there it is. Okay. We'll throw this in anyway regardless and continue on. I'm going to put this on here. Sorry, transferring this. Yeah, we yeah, can yeah. probably uh, get rid I'll, of that cutting I'll, board. Yeah. And you're like... Is this chicken cutting board? That's chicken cutting board. I put my fingers in it. I don't know how you put your fingers in it. I'm going to have salmonella. Okay, you guys, this is smelling incredible. Our Cajun chicken burgers are coming up Millhouse. Smells like raw chicken. There we go, there we go. And I did a great job of using all the spices. Okay. I did a great job of getting it all on my fingers. Okay, and there's another breadboard over here. What's going on in this place? Anyway, uh, what are we doing now? Lick my fingers. Um, no, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Even all without right. the chicken, I probably wouldn't do that. <laughs> It's true, we did catch public transport here. And so. she has curious fingers. <laughs> they um, wander, they wander. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, toss to coat until no seasoning remains in the bowl. Uh, okay, we did all this. We did all that, yes, we did. And we did that too. What did we do? Uh, we usually just go hungry until Fridays. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. What are we we doing? eat an assortment of things, Matt. Oh, we eat a lot of spaghetti. We eat Taco Tuesday. We have, uh, we actually have cauliflower Taco Tuesdays. So that is our uh, meat-free Monday, but on a Tuesday. Uh, Matt asked what we eat. So in reference to that, we have uh, chicken nachos maybe once a week. We have rice pepper rolls, also very fun. Um, and pesto chicken burrito wraps. Guys, we are professional cooks at home. Don't even worry about it. Carry on, Michael. Jenny says you're giving them stress. Jenny? Oh no. We're I don't want to give stress. anyone stress. That's what I like. We've got that feedback so much. Everyone's like, I, I don't know whether I should be stressed or, or laughing. And you're like, that's what we want. We want people at home to feel anxiety. One of my friends said, I can't believe you guys are such bad cooks. I'm like, I felt like we were killing it. I feel like we're killing these fresh preps. Why don't you halve the buns? I can halve the buns. Great. And arrange them on another baking sheet. Cut side up. Oh, I get it. Um, Look at let's this get rid of this. perfect bun up. I don't think you need that leash. I love the face you have right now. It, it kind of, I don't want you behind me with that knife anymore, <laughs> but. Um, I, but you said halve it, are they already pre-halved? Ah, they might be. No, they oh, might be not, they might be not. You, you can right, maybe gonna, hack out. it out. You guys, I'm gonna pre-halve these buns. Ooh, I think the oven's probably preheated. Should, should we check and put the chicken in? Yeah, let's just put it in anyway, because we are like. 
Not well pretty hard. Gonna here. use my fancy knife. Gonna cut into that. I don't think that's that hot, but you know what? Oh. It's fine. Is it the miracle blade? Leash, you need oh. a breadboard. Literally, you need a breadboard. Oh. Here, come on now. Oh. You're wrecking the bench. I didn't even touch the bench because kiss the bottom. No, I mean, what do you what do you call it? Cut the bottom, kiss the girls. The perfect sliced bun. That's this knife, you guys. Okay, shameless plug for China Plus <laughs> stainless steel knife. Right, right. Is that the Miracle Blade? Though? It is the Miracle Blade. I apologize. It's the Miracle Blade. <gasps> this is from, it's from the infomercials. Threw the pineapple and then he would like. It was like from like. The Does anyone have a pineapple? <laughs> Should we try? <laughs> what throwing a pineapple in the air? Supposedly simple infomercial. You're already, you're already a pineapple. throwing it around enough. Curious if anybody else remembers the Miracle Blade. <laughs> if anyone else remembers Miracle Blade. Was this the Miracle Ramey's Blade that curious. could cut through like a car door or something? Wow, I don't. Wow, is that part of it? I don't. Maybe. That might have been a cartoon. I don't like remember in the if that was real. Oh. They were cutting shoes. They cut oh. shoes in the infomercial. <laughs> That's but this, this knife leash, oh my god, man, my fingers why, are right there. Why are they what cutting shoe? The knife's so good you can cut your shoe. Like, why do you need a you knife so good that you can cut off. your shoe? Oh my god. Alright, we've taken the knife away. Okay, what's the next step? My hand was Buns like this cut. and you were just like slicing through. I had very good finger awareness of where your fingers were. Oh my god. It says, having the buns, freezing. Boom. Oh. Was that a boob joke? <laughs> no, it's a bun, buns are butts. Oh, a bum joke. Okay, yeah. never mind. I broke Michael's bun, Curtis. I hope you're happy. I'll break this one. There we go. What's the next step? Thanks for tuning in, Curtis. Love ya. Yeah, he comes in with the butt jokes. He's a good time. Always, always. That's what we uh, count on So we're going to toast the buns. So I'll let you do that. Wait, how do you toast the buns if the oven is with the chicken? You put them in the top. Or does Remy have a toaster? No, you put them in the top of the oven. It says here, look. And it says, put them in the top of the oven until golden brown. Three to four minutes. Even with the chicken in there? Especially with the chicken in there. Okay, all right. Well, I'm down. I'm ready to experiment. Uh, okay, three to four minutes. I don't think that's going to take... I think it's going to be longer than that. But okay, all right. What's after that? Did you put a timer on for the chicken at all, perchance? I don't know. Okay, that's all right. We'll wing it. We'll wing it. No, because I don't believe that the chicken is even preheated enough yet. It feels pretty warm in there. It's going to be a hot minute though. Put what, it on for 20 minutes. What because now, it's the chicken should be good. So put the timer on for 20 minutes. What temperature did it say though? Was it 175? <clears throat> no, it just said put them in... The, no, don't put them 175 because we're trying to cook the chicken. Yeah, no, I'm saying that's the temperature you have it at. I'm saying is that the temperature we want it at? No, 450 degrees Fahrenheit, but that might be Celsius. It says degrees Fahrenheit. Oh my god. So I'm going to increase the temperature. Well, no, but I did already do that. And oh, one, it, yeah, oh, it's going, it's up. going okay. up. See, that's what it is now, currently. So I'm going to set a timer for 20 minutes. Make it 22 because it's not even close to where we need it preheated to. Okay, this time is, is on. Swimmingly. Time is on. And you bum, know, every bum. week I come here and I'm like, it'll be easier this week. And, and we'll it's do fine. It We're at 180 already. We only have to get to what? 400? This is, this is literally sandwiches. We're struggling to make a sandwich. <laughs> We're not struggling. <laughs> Matthias really wants to know if that, that can cut a shoe. Who's struggling? So well, maybe next week I'll bring in a shoe. Okay. Hey, maybe next week Matt will bring in a shoe and we'll see if we can actually cut through a shoe. Matt is curious to see if that miracle blade Remy was talking about can actually cut a shoe. I want to do the some pineapple thing, but the shoe thing oh, will man. work. The pineapple so that's thing will be fun, but <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Hey, we'll see. I guess we can make the salad next. There's a salad? Yeah. Oh, let's do that. Did you put a timer on for four minutes? I twenty. I did it for twenty-two minutes. Should we use this thing? Did you say you said timer twenty-two minutes? Okay, I'm going to go onto the salad. <laughs> While buns toast. Yeah, we get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, while well, buns toast, whisk together mustard, honey, vinegar. Oh, we have like a mustard, honey, vinegar dressing, I suppose. Okay, Michael, I'm going to not use one of your glass bowls. I do apologize. And you've already dirtied the whisk, so I guess I can't whisk it together. Did I dirty the whisk or did I use the whisk? But I'm going to whisk together the vinegar, red wine vinegar. Love how everything's labeled and love the packaging. Red wine vinegar? Let me taste it. We know how this went last time. Are you sure? Yeah, but I want to see if this one's different. Okay. I never tasted red wine vinegar. I don't think it's going to be. It's also vinegar in the title. It's fine. I mean, for, it's going to cure what ails you, I it's think. It's fine for vinegar. Oh. What about for red wine? No. <laughs> <laughs> Lingering? Lingering yeah, a little bit? It's not good for red wine. Okay, Definitely here we go. If you're red at a wine vinegar? vinegar? Party, like a vinegar dinner party, it'd be okay. Mustard and honey. Okay, mustard and honey. <laughs> I think this is mustard. 
Oh man. <laughs> There's a cute picture of a mustard bottle on the mustard packaging. That's adorable. Okay, wow. squeezing it in. Here we go. There My we go. Eyes are still hurting. Stinging. Is it lingering with you? Yeah. Okay, and then cute little packaging for the honey. All well, my that's bad adorable. decisions uh, coming they back come up. Racing back to you. Wow, that's a lot of honey to be putting in this. Does it say add both? That's kind of interesting. Oh no, you just did it and I didn't even look. Honey is nature's sweetener. Honey never goes bad. We don't have any facts this week. We have nothing. It's not even open. Cool. Fun facts. fact. Oh, yeah. it is open. You can... Honey tastes yep, great. Yep, 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 yep. Here we go. You guys want a nice little fun fact while Leash is uh, doodling around over here? Oh no, I've read this one already. <laughs> These are all the same facts but over and over cycling? again. Yeah, no, I you think can probably get another one. That's a new one, you that one I just saw. Ask Alexa, like, uh, open cool facts. She is playing the game this week, so maybe we should ask Alexa for a fun fact. Alexa, give me a fun fact. Yes. Between 1968 and 2000, when directors wanted to disown a film, they were credited as Alan Smithy. That stopped because of publicity about a film called an Alan Smithy film, Burn Hollywood Burn, about a director called Alan Smithy who tries to disown a film but can't because of his name. The director, Arthur Hiller, himself disowned the film and was credited as Alan Smithy. Um, that was a fact, but it, 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 <laughs> bore, it bordered on just being just... That was a short life. story, almost novella fact. Like, that was a lot. Alexa, well oh, done! Oh, this is kind of interesting. It's against the law. This is no food related. I mean, unless they eat them. It's against the law to have a pet dog in Iceland. What? what? Alexa? Yeah, I mean, that's what I... That is I it against the law to have a pet dog in Iceland? Sorry, I don't know that. I think she has Well, that makes two of us, Alexa. Women. I okay, don't know that Michael suggested that yes, against the law to have a pet dog in Iceland. I didn't make that up. That's what the thing said. No, I'm said. curious. I need validation of this. Well, it's, the, uh... the the cool facts app told me. Oh, it was in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, like, sure, I guess. If it's in the app, it has to be real. Because it has to be, be real. Okay. In a large bowl, season with salt and pepper, toss in spring mix and chopped tomatoes. Oh, that's why I did those weird chopped tomatoes. Okay, here we go. Oh, you know what? That's it. It's All right, over. guys, pack it up. We're going home. The oven hasn't even fully preheated oh, to the right temperature. That's the and time. We ran out of time. That's the time. That's the time. We have to make a rule that they eat it as is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Rami just said we should make a rule where we eat it as is. Um, I think Rami should have to eat it as is too. But it he says has to, serves but four. He has to drive us home, so he has to take that risk of that fifteen-minute drive. Where everything's going to town down here <laughs> in go his car. Go down, go down, go down. Let me see you go to town and I'm going to use a purple ball. I'm going to toss this. We're making a salad, guys, and it's going to be great. Okay, Alexa, stop. That's right. Beautiful, beautiful salad Should I salad ask Alexa mix. how to toss a salad? Alexa, how do you toss a salad? According to WikiHow, before you can toss your salad, Prepare the ingredients by placing the heaviest items, like tomatoes or carrots, in yeah. a large bowl first. Next, add the rest of the ingredients, then pour one quarter of the dressing into the bowl. To begin mixing the salad, <laughs> use tongs to pick up some of the ingredients from the bottom of the bowl and place them on top. After you've done this several times, add a little more dressing and repeat the process until everything is well mixed. Okay. Finish by garnishing There's the more. salad, then serve. To learn more details oh. about this and other how-tos from more. WikiHow, say open WikiHow. Did done? she say hands for hands? Is that what happened? <laughs> oh, that's what you're laughing at? You don't know what tossing a salad is, do you? <laughs> Toss with hands? No, I've never tossed a salad with my hands. Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, thanks Alexa! Now I know how to toss a salad. But um, there was a handy part in that about putting the heaviest ingredients in first. So you know what? Let's veer off the straight and narrow a little bit and just put the tomato we put it in, in there the, first. Is it tossing with the dill? No. No, I don't think so. I think that's for the buns. The toasted, toasted buns. Okay, so that's that. And the oven hasn't even preheated yet to May the right I ask, temperature. Um, if I should add all this of this. This is the worst birthday of my life. Should I add all of this or just half? Because it looks like there's some on the burgers. Maybe I'll just add half. Yeah, I, I suppose. No yeah. Wait, wait, it says, uh... Half? 
Half yeah, yeah, let's just do half. I would say half? do half. Yeah, okay. yeah. Adding half of our pre-packaged beautiful kale romaine purple cabbage blend. Oh, so good. So, so good. But. What? What's wrong? Don't you put the heavy stuff in first? I did it with the tomato in. Tomatoes over there? Oh, no, 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 that's for the burgers. See. Yes, see, one step so ahead of me, Michael. So we don't need this guy anymore, do we? No, let's get rid of it. Let's wash it. I'm going to toss with my hands, as Alexa suggested. <laughs> Here we go, tossing with hands. Um, am I putting the dressing in? What did it say to toss with? Oh, babe, season with salt and pepper. You're good at that. Bring over the salt. Let's season this bad salt. boy. Why don't we put in so also, much salt and everything? I don't man. really know if you can call tomato and... Oh. Leaves a salad, like... Tomato and leaves. I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm a little curious about that. So, let's just see what happens with this. I'm um, sorry, did it say add the dressing? What's making that noise? Um, it stopped the oven? Now. It stopped. Keep dropping stuff, man. The timer? I picked a really small bowl to do this in, I apologize. Okay, that's tossed. Do I toss the dressing? No. I'm well, that's ask. what tossing it means, right? You put the dressing in, right? No, but I'm just wondering. In a large bowl, season with salt and pepper, toss in spring mix. And no, no, serve the remaining salad on the side. So you're supposed to put it all in there. No, we don't need that. It's only two of us. Let's play it safe. No, no. yeah, because half and half, that's the remaining salad. Okay, so no, I'm going to toss the dressing no, in here. No, the remaining salad is in like... Oh, okay. Oh, I get you. Okay, sure. No, you might be right. Whatever, who cares? I'm going dress, to dress in this. Dress the salad. I bless in the... The dressed salad. Right. Here we go. Look at this mess. Here we go. Ooh! Guys, any sort of vinaigrette that you have uh, a cut on your finger is probably not gonna, not gonna go down well. Yummy. Um, enjoy your salad, Michael, later. Yeah, Can't wait. yeah I don't know what that sound is. We hear I think sound. the dishwasher's on. I don't know. I didn't turn the dishwasher on, did I? Look, there's a lot of buttons and gadgets in this kitchen that we don't know how operates. It is on! We've probably... <laughs> Turned the on. This washer was on for some reason. There's nothing something. in there. Something. Okay. Except soapy also, water. Honestly, smelling beautiful. Probably gonna taste amazing. What Just is uh? About, like, what's everybody saying out there right now? What's they, going on in they, the in the universe of? They're talking to us. Probably being like, "What are you doing? You guys are so annoying. Shut up." Oh, you know what? Our buns smell like they're toasting. Oh, sh sugar. Well, those are supposed to be watched. They look perfect. Get some plates, I guess. Yeah, Mike, if you can pass me a plate. Well, maybe before... just wants you to ask uh, Alexa how to get this salad. <gasps> okay, we can do that. We can do that. <gasps> oh, it's so hot. Sorry, I got those around the wrong way. There we go. Tossing a salad was a risky question. Michael, would you like to do the honors? What? Ask Alexa. How did he... I don't know if Matt was being serious. He, he might have been joking. <laughs> I think he's probably serious. Uh, Alexa, how do you eat a salad? That's right. Alexa? You don't. How do you eat a salad? According to WikiHow, to eat a salad, use a knife or the edge of your fork to cut the lettuce into bite-sized pieces so it's easier to eat. Just make sure you're cutting and eating one bite at a time and not cutting up your entire salad at once. If you're in a formal dining setting and there are multiple forks and knives in front of you, use the fork and knife at the outermost edge of your place setting. Also, avoid leaning in when you take a bite. Yeah. Instead, avoid sit that. up straight and bring the fork to your mouth. To learn more details about this and other how-tos from WikiHow, say open WikiHow. Oh. Did that answer your question? Yes, thank you, beautiful. Why do you lean in? I mean, not lean in. Why do you bring the fork to you? Thanks for your feedback. <laughs> okay. All right. That's enough out of you. Whew. Um, yeah, why would you, because I'm much of a like lean inner um, to not spill it on myself rather than a lean up to me, like up, bring it up to me person. Yes. What do you do? I don't know. I, I don't eat salad. Here's some salad. Here's a fork. Do you yeah. lean in or do you bring it to you? I would cut it up into bite-sized pieces first. Say so you can't do that. And then I would do this. I would lean back, nice and back straight. Uh, you leaned in? Look at you! You brought the bowl and you leaned in. That's pretty good. That's pretty good salad. All right, sweet. We know Alexa's response to how to eat a salad. So apparently, your Alexa requests are triggering people's Alexas at home. <laughs> Our Alexa requests are triggering triggering people's Alexas in their home. I'm sorry, that is a danger. Let's just get everyone <laughs> to hilarious. turn off their Alexas because we don't want to trigger any salad eating phobias out there <laughs> or something that might go. 
wildly array. Okay. Look at this. Right now, if you do it like this, these plates kind of look like South Park characters. I don't know if you can see that. Kinda? Kinda. Um, I beautifully toasted right these buns, by the way, if anyone would like to see right? That's that. Pretty much That's beautifully toasted. Michael, I'm going to rotate this chicken. How are you feeling about that? I'm feeling really not keen on eating that chicken. No, that's cooking like, oh, can <gasps> you can't smell that, yeah, can but smell can everyone can in the smell room it? smell that? Oh, delightful. Utterly delightful. Also, it feels pretty hot in there, so we are getting hot You're in the city. Hot in the city tonight. Yes. Sorry, I'm going to flip them. Has this spoon spoon been used for anything? So no? Matthias Great. Has a fun fact for us. Matthias has a fact. Let's go. Men Matt. Men are six times more likely to be struck by lightning than women. Men are six times Ooh. more likely to be struck by lightning than women. Because so many sexist jokes that I could make, and I'm not going to. Um, why? Because we are like lightning rod hot. We no, attract men, sparks. Men get hit more than women. Oh, okay. Um, because you're so no, no. stiff and pole-like. I'm not going to make the joke, but where would you be <laughs> if you were doing your job? Where would you be if you were doing if you're your a woman. job? I don't know. And Wouldn't woman. be outside, that's for sure. Definitely would be in probably something similar to this. A kitchen? I'm kidding. I don't understand the joke, Michael! Oh, that's so funny! Okay. Everybody gets it, except... Because women are in the kitchen more often, that's why we don't get struck by lightning. Yeah, because there's no lightning in here. Zing! Got you! Okay, awesome! You're probably more likely to die from oven. More likely to die from oven. For men probably are stupider, they probably run under a tree for shelter, that's true. No, but like, what do you actually do in an earthquake? Because that's a sincere, like, paranoia I have here in Vancouver. Because you guys actually have earthquakes. Like, since we've lived here for four years, there's been an earthquake, and in my entire existence, my 26 year existence in Australia, we never had an earthquake. So I am a believer of like running outside to an open field, whereas Michael is more of like a no stand in like a strong. I thought you said stand in like a strong. I have no contingency plan. If there's an earthquake, we're dead. That's oh. it. Oh. Myra says it's because they're six times more annoying. Ah! Men get struck by lightning six times more than women because apparently Myra thinks that they're six times more annoying. That's fair. That would be. Thinks it's because they're taller. That's fair. And then she thinks maybe lightning it's they're taller. comes from the ground, though, Myra. It's true. So I don't know if the tall thing comes into it, but I but believe the annoying thing. The annoying thing wholeheartedly would make support you, you more on the annoying thing. Yes, because men are men annoying. Are yeah, men. <laughs> Hot in the city. Mm. Hot in mm. the city tonight. Okay, this is okay. This is probably okay, we probably have a challenge that we can do while the yeah, chicken cooks. Yeah, that's what I mean. Right? That's what I was going to say because the chicken's got miles to go. Yes, the chicken uh, is which cooking. Which is a weird way to measure how long chicken has to do miles, but whatever. Let's do it. Let's uh, do a challenge right here, right now. Let's go. Uh, how many salads can you toss, Leisha? Let's go. Okay, how many salads do we have? Because this one's going to end up on the kidding. roof. Okay, all right. Um. That is not good. I'm not gonna eat that chicken. That's Wish still I knew what that gross. was. It's not the chicken timer. I feel like the microwave's probably beeping at me because. No, it's the chicken timer. It's chicken timer. No, it's still six minutes thirty-seven seconds out. I don't know. Oh, no, you know what? The temperature. The temperature. It hit the temperature. Finally, we've preheated the oven to the right temperature. Fourteen minutes and thirty-two seconds in, we've got the right temperature. So there is a challenge. Yes. On the iPad if you want. There's a challenge on the iPad. Let's do it, Lisa. We're gonna refer to our weekly challenge. So just uh, double tap. It's on the. Double tap. <laughs> The only other <gasps> the books? Here we go. Make an orange and olive oil candle. Make an orange and olive oil candle. This we're is make our a weekly candle. challenge, guys. Yes, we're going to make a candle. Okay. Uh, I guess a fun fact. Oranges can be made into candles. And quite simply, too. Wait, we should do an accent. Pick an accent this week, Michael. Uh, for you? Sure. Um, I want you to do an Irish accent. I'm going to do British. No, Start no. by slicing no, your orange no. in half. Do an Irish accent. Do not slice through the part where the stem was. If anybody wants that an Irish part accent, you have to speak up now. will become your wick inside the orange. I'm going to have to repeat that because you weren't listening. Well, you weren't listening to me either. I said Irish. I can't do Irish. I That's can not only, the point. You, have to, can you can't do, do British either. <laughs> I can only do two accents. Um, <sighs> start by slicing your orange in half. You don't even have a bloody orange. Your accent is wildly <laughs> inaccurate. <laughs> Okay, let's let's slice the. We have. I think there's another one under there. No. No, yeah, go with the orange, green one. Go with the green one. Yeah. There you go. All right, guys, we're making an orange and oil candle. Okay. 
Well, a surprisingly well, simple an orange, orange oil, oil candle. 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 Thank you, Michael. I'm going to continue with my a British accent. This is the only knife we have left. I don't think it's going to work. Hey, you know what? Try it. So. That one Does only any... cut tomato, so I'll rinse that one for Sorry, you. here's a question. Has any millennial ever actually used one of these things? Can anyone tell me what that is actually what is it for? for? It's for sharpening a knife. I know what it's for, right? Oh, it's a knife sharpener. Did I make that up? It is, no. It's for sharp sharpening a knife. I thought it's... it had something to do with the turkey and trying to get the um, stuffing so in there. So we're out of knives. So uh, just wash the, this one. I'll wash that one for you if you don't want to. Oh, yeah, it that's was fine. Only that, tomato. It's tomato. It's fine. I'll just use that. Okay. Um, so start by slice. Sorry. Start by slicing your orange in half. In half, but do not slice through the part where the stem was. That will become your wick. How would I do that then? <laughs> What's the stem? The stem's the bit that goes from the top to the bottom. Okay, sweet. So just slice alongside that maybe. But that's not half though. Um, slice your orange in half, do not okay. slice through. Yes, yeah, so that's half, so you're not slicing yeah, through. Yeah, like so that, like, Got right? you, yes. Like, right, like that, right? Isn't it? <laughs> and one of those. So you will want to slice perpendicular to that part. Perfect, way ahead of you. Next, remove the flesh from inside the orange. Be what? careful not to, not to remove the part that sticks out where the stem used to connect. What? Um... I don't know if you want to remove the flesh from that part or that part. What do I... No, wait, so the empty one that doesn't have any stem? It just says, next, remove the flesh from inside the orange. Yeah, which part though? Be careful not to remove the part that sticks out, that sticks out inside where the stem used to connect. This becomes the orange wick. So, I'd say that half. You want the wick, you want the stem as the wick, right? Basically, this is what we're trying Essentially, to do. Essentially, yes. Yeah, so I need to now... Hollow this out without... Yes. Hollow it out. I think maybe you're supposed to cut it on the other... Oh, okay, we cut it the wrong way. So like the... Perpendicular? Is that what yeah. perpendicular is? No. Okay. Let's go. So We're you, getting you, some advice so you from think, Peanut Gallery. See, this is the thing here. We, you think it we should cut it like that. It does say be careful that. not to cut yeah, through the wick, though. I feel like you'll have a bowl and then the wick. Aha! Let's do it. Okay, we're trying option two. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And then what? You want to remove all the orange out of it. I don't know how you do that. Is that what it said? Yes, it did. Remove the flesh from inside the orange, but be careful not to remove the part that sticks out inside where the stem used to connect. Ramey, oh, yeah. I think you have it. Yes, absolutely. How do I remove that, though? With a spoon? Um, sure, yes. Spoon it out. Oh my god, that accent. Pour a little olive... Yeah, that's enough. Okay, so I'm <laughs> going to grab the oil. Oh, um, we don't want that oil. We want this oil. Okay. Guys, come, bringing you up to speed. Welcome back to Supposedly Simple, week four. Hello Fresh Challenge. There's chicken cooking. We're doing an orange challenge um, about how to make an orange into a candle using only an olive. Only an olive? Only an orange and some olive oil and Michael's fingers. Did you remove the wick? Oh my gosh, you guys! I think I see the wick. That is incredible. I don't know if you have a view of this, but how's it taste? It tastes like orange. Rich person orange? No. Oh. Uh, distinctly like ghetto orange. They cheaped out on us this week, you guys. Mm. No, that actually tastes amazing. Are we orange? actually going to like this? This is crazy. This is crazy. It's, it's, uh, okay. Whether it lights or not. <laughs> things are heating up in the kitchen, guys. Things are getting spicy. Now pour it. Okay, so yeah, we have to hollow it out and then we pour olive oil inside yeah. of it. <gasps> we have a lighter. Things are getting intense. Okay. Use a little camera there, sure. Okay, let's do a close up here. Let's see what's going on. So, Michael has cut perpendicular, or what we assumed was perpendicular, um, our little orange wedge here. And as you can see, He's hollowed it out to create this little, can you flick the little um, stem, the wick babe? Just so they can see that it's like, there's a little wick in there where we didn't cut that part off. So <laughs> that is apparently our orange wick. And that's maybe what we're gonna light once we fill it with olive oil. All right, next step. Let's take a look at the instructions. What, what are does you it doing? say, Michael? I don't know, I'm too busy The next paragraph, myself. now pour a little olive oil. Pour a little olive oil. I don't know how much a little is though. How much uh, freedom uh, do you I think, use? I think it's supposed to just slow down the the the. Uh, Olive know. oil works great. Is that what we have? I don't 
mean, it says olive oil. Well, I don't know. We why do you have, have to olive think oil. About we, do. We, we have do. olive oil. Yeah. We have olive oil. It works great, apparently. Thank you, Timer. We're gonna let that cook a little longer because it took so long to preheat. Well, press stop on the. Well, turn it up to like five more minutes. Check on the on the thing. Let's yeah, it's not thing. burning. It's great. Oh, smells amazing. Okay. Now pour a little olive oil into half the orange. Did it? If you can see. Then use a lighter and light the wick. I'm so scared about this! Okay. This is a candle. Uh, this is the bit apparently that's the hard part. Is it lighting? No. Okay, so let's just take a closer look. Olive oil is not flammable, is it? Like, it won't blow up in my face. Well, I'm pretty sure it's probably at least a little flammable. No, but that's why... <laughs> not the candle wouldn't work. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think you were maybe supposed to coat the wick in olive oil? Maybe. I don't know. Let's Maybe try. just pour a tiny bit onto the wick. Dad, why are you late? You should be... My dad's a firefighter. He would know all of this sciencey stuff. <laughs> you can light Doritos, apparently. Doritos are very uh, flammable. Be careful with your fingers there. Yeah, I don't need fingers. Okay, so we are attempting to light an orange wick. Made from purely an orange and Although, olive oil. Well, I gotta say, if you have a lighter, Probably just smarter to use that. What? We have a lighter. You're holding a lighter. I know. So I'm saying, like, this is not working. <laughs> oh, as in if you needed something to sustain light. I feel like you're getting there. I feel yeah, like something's it's happening. Getting there. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It might just, like, take a little hot minute to. But if you threw an orange into a fire, you wouldn't have to do any of this. It would probably burn. How do you already have the fire, though, Michael? I don't know. You, you lit, like, somebody's treehouse on fire or something. Why are you lighting some poor kids? Oh! <gasps> Oh, no, it's out. You guys, Ooh. that's... Holy crikey, we might be onto something. It lit. Wow, that's super hot now. I hope you don't have a fire alarm in Whoa, here. Ow, ow. Ooh, wee, do you need me to just... try? Um, don't burn yourself. I already did. <laughs> oh. I think We're that we are so going to get man. that to light. I guess the question is whether it's going to be sustained. Yeah, like the worst... Oh! <gasps> Does that count? What? But, would that have done that without the olive oil? I don't... Oh, and it's gone out. Man, this thing... A lot okay. of effort. But, try one more time, because we here at Supposedly Simple, we do not give up without a fight. So give it, give it your last bit of gas, and see what happens. It said a little olive oil. I'm wondering if maybe it needed a lot of olive oil. You know what I mean? Like, that seems alive, but then it just goes out. I wonder what the fuel is in this. Yes, that is disappointing. Well, do you want to try and add more olive oil? So we just fill it up and then... Well, I don't like, know about no, no, filling no, no, it, fill it up. up we like, olive oil is expensive. We're all millennials here. Yeah, get some on the wick, I guess. That's perfect. Let's just yeah. leave it at that. My okay, hands here we go. on fire. Matias says you need John Wick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Matt said we need John Wick, which is an... Oh, don't burn yourself. I keep burning myself. Okay, It's careful. too late for me. It's an orange filled with olive oil here at the Bento Kitchen. It's all going um, down. If it's too, if it's gonna burn your finger, use one of those sticks over there. Oh, bop, 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 bop. <gasps> oh my god, you guys! I don't want to say anything, but it's staying lit. I think that's it. Like what the heck? You need to coat it, and you need to put a lot. It said a little bit, but it's mostly full of olive oil. Like actually, what the heck? That's staying lit. Like that's an orange and olive oil candle. Spoke too soon, Leash. Uh, oh. It's not a very good candle. <laughs> No, I mean, look, that, if you're right. trapped somewhere, that's probably not going to be the solution to gonna lighting spend, your way out. Yeah, you're going to spend too much time doing um, this. You could be drinking the olive oil. It smells and, great. Um, but oh. And you had great orange tasting-ish when you got to scoop it out. I'm going to check the chicken. Woo! Yay! <laughs> that was a so weird... So I would give that challenge maybe a probably definitely fail. But I don't know if we followed it directly to a no, team. I would so give that a fail too. Like it's that's a fail? so. I feel like you, hardcore if you can do fail. That, I just feel like you could just start a fire. Like what do you? Doing? I mean, it's definitely hazardous. You let's have be oranges honest. and orange trees around you, but you don't have. <laughs> you have oranges, olive oils, and lighters. You're very bougely stranded on this island. That's what I mean. Like, like... It's like what's going on here? <laughs> you have all these things to exactly, light a candle. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, you just you know. Wait, I saw Remy had some very cool oven. Do you mind passing me just one of those oven mitts? I that think are that there? should be good. You reckon? I, I think it actually is. Here, An to oven be mitt? honest, you can oh, yeah. taste test this little crispy nugget I made. Yeah, but that's gonna be. How is it? 
How's it taste? Oh, <gasps> you guys, it actually smells phenomenal. It doesn't taste like salmonella. Well, that's a good sign. Well, heck, that's a great sign. The thing you guys won't see is the rest of our night where we're just like up all night just in the bathroom. Michael, do you want to check the instructions and see like what we actually do once the chicken's cooked? I think we just assumed we would know. And... Yeah, you, you make a burger out of it. Yeah, but like what do we actually do? Like it's just like, I think it's make your own burger. Like it's just literally like... Like build your own burger. Yeah, like this, like this much. Which yeah. these buns are now a little cold, but they're still crispy. That's fine. That's okay. We jumped the bun gun and put them in the oven we very early. We jumped the bun gun. That's pretty funny. We jumped the bun gun. Um, the plate up challenge this week will be uh, not as interesting because... Why? Because we only have two things. Oh, so you're challenged is what you're saying because I can you still can't do make it. a face. Mate, I can still make a face pretty Oh, well. okay. Give Don't the fans what they me. want, Michael. Give the fans what they want. I'll figure it out. I'll make a face. You'll figure it out. Okay, I'm just going to cut this chicken in half, some of this chicken in half, to confirm that it's cooked through and through. Does anyone have a... Oh, it's bloody hot here in the kitchen with the chicken cutting. Oh, that is so cooked. Yeah? I'm so happy with that. Yep, okay. let's do it. What are you... What, what, what are you testing right now, Michael? What's that challenge? We have timers going off all over the place right now. I don't really know what that one is. You know what? Let's oh, roll with it. Oh, the dishwasher. Oh, the dishwasher's done. Whew! Don't worry about it. The dishwasher's done. Thank God. Okay, I'm bringing the chicken over. Go for it. We're getting... We're gonna get creative plating up. Here we go. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. This is what our Cajun chicken looks like. I don't know what we're doing. It's amazing. That took like way dill, longer than it should have. Mayonnaise. But that's not our fault. Um, even though it kind of is. Put these oranges here because. Why not? Let's Why uh, not? let's plate up, okay? Okay, let's plate up. That's hot. Uh, be careful. Go for it. Are you sure the instructions say this? We haven't missed anything. Mate, I think it's fine. Mm. Oh yeah, you just have the remaining salad on the side. Okay. Wait, oh, I did it wrong. Why? I'm just using my fingers and getting in there. So overall, this is a very very simple, uh, very simple. It actually recipe. was, right? Yeah, like there's very little parts in this, but it's burgers. Like, I mean, if you're gonna pay for this, I don't know if you're gonna expect. Yeah, maybe we should start the, the review process about like cost and like how yeah, much we, it actually maybe we should. was. We need we're bringing little, up we'll our, our criteria. little criteria template, right? Because let's see, let's see. Thank you, Michael. I don't know. Yeah. The dill mayonnaise thing smells amazing. Oh, you! Oh my uh, God! My I just finger. knocked my my finger. Knocked my lettuce over. I'm gonna keep mine open face because hashtag plating up. Hashtag Alicia for the win. Hashtag yeah. Hashtag all you want, baby dog. Going down. That dill mayonnaise spread like looks so fancy because it's just like dill and mayonnaise. I think people but... can already see what's going on here. I'm like, don't you look? How did you even know that I looked? I looked entirely with my eyes. I could feel it. You felt it. You sensed felt it. felt that jealousy. Oh, jealousy. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go, you guys. The plate up challenge. This is what everyone tunes in for every week. We know it. We're not ashamed of it. You want to see how creative we can get. I'm not ashamed of it. No, don't be ashamed. It is entirely fine. I buried my chicken. Are you so almost done? Chicken on that side. Um... Wait, no, I need tomato. You're hogging the tomato over there. Oh, hogging it. Here's some Hogging tomato. it. Hogging it. Thank you. Okay. There we go. And then there we go. I think it's pretty clear who the winner is. Wait, you're done already? Well, let's get this nonsense out of the way. Yeah, let's, let's clear it all out. Well, let's just see. My plate is so dirty, though. Okay. I needed to like paper towel it up. <laughs> okay. Also, it's served with a side salad, which Michael has chosen to ignore. I don't need a side salad to win. Let's get the votes in. Let's see what the audience says. Let's <laughs> see whose <laughs> plate up is better. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> I vote Michael. He's the coolest. Oh, that's pretty funny. You know what? This week I do vote you. That's very creative, Michael. No, it's. It's mostly rubbish that I've put on my plate to no, fill it up. No, it's pretty funny. You're going to eat that, right? It's not going to go to waste. Um, yeah. 
I've heard eating an orange orange rind is good for your. Um, all right, no, that's actually health. tasted though, hey. Yes. Okay, let's do a taste. Let's do a taste here. Um, all right, I'm gonna take this off and put it over yeah. here. I'm just gonna mush mine together. Because I'm an open faced bun gal. Um, wait, do you have the criteria here? Well, oh, actually, it oh yeah, true. We probably have to taste it too. All right, All right. let's go. Let's do it. I'm sorry if you have phobias about people eating on TV. Don't watch this right now. Oh. That's pretty good. That's actually really good. I mean, it's a burger though. It's like a chicken burger. It's pretty good though. I know, but that sauce is really good. Yeah, but how much sugar was in the sauce? Does it and say? And the dressing. It probably says. It'll probably say. I couldn't criticize it for that because it tastes really good. Mm. Jenny says, "Don't give up your day jobs, guys." Mm. <laughs> Ouch. Mm. Jenny says, "Don't give up our day jobs." Now she tells us. Yeah. Too little, too late, Jen. Like we're banking on this. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really nice, though. That is really good. Yeah, I like that. I like the sauce. The bun's not cold. It's still crispy. So I can't fault it for that. Let's we can't go fault it for that anyway. That was our fault. Okay. Was it good value for money? Well, how much did it cost? Mm. Uh, that is a good question. Uh, we don't actually <laughs> know if it was good value for money. Sure. Uh, do the next one. So then, uh, wait, you know what? I think it was, they're all pretty much around the same. It was, it was pretty, it was like pretty standard value. So I'll give it like a good seven. Cause it's like, it's not like it's, it's cheaper than eating out. But it's not as cheap as if you just bought the ingredients yourself. So... Mm, I don't know, chicken can be pretty pricey here in Vancouver. I guarantee you they're still working for plus a Plus salad, plus mustard, plus... Salad, really? Mayo. Tomato and, and but lettuce. But you have to go out and buy like a whole tub of mayo, was, a whole tub like of mustard. Was organic chicken? Like was the... Whoop. It was. It was organic, organic free range chicken. Okay, I accidentally pressed 9 for that one, so we'll just take that I would probably off. honestly give it a 9 for price point because the last ones have been around $22 and I think $11 per meal for something like this. I don't know, I think that's pretty fair and average. I think you can eat eleven bucks, you can eat a burger. Oh, whatever. We'll just go, we'll just take we'll just take we'll say. We eight. took a nine. Okay, we took a nine. I thought you said you accidentally pressed nine. You didn't? I did, I okay. did. Okay. So we'll just take one point off at the end, because mm -hmm. I screwed up. Uh, how clear were the instructions? Pretty clear. Super clear. Give that a nine. How what about a ten? We didn't even how can you fault it? Well, because it didn't tell us to preheat the oven until I found it by accident. That's true. I feel like the preheat oven should have been a little bit more at the top. Okay. How easy was the meal to make? Probably a 10. ten. Yeah. yeah, very easy, super easy. It's a sandwich. Was the time allotment accurate? Yeah, we missed the yeah, we screwed preheat up. thing. Yeah, yeah. That so was I us. would say yeah, it's hundred percent accurate. I literally when I saw this, I was like, yeah, we'll be done super quick. Anyway, yeah, ten. How fresh were the ingredients? <laughs> How fresh were the ingredients? Pretty fresh. Very fresh. Tomato didn't have bruises or mold. Mm, give that a Lettuce is crispy. How did the meal taste? I think it was pretty good. I'd give it like a nine. Yeah, I'd give it like a nine. It's a stock standard like chicken burger, but like that's kind of all you expect, right? Kay. Submit. What is our answer out of 60? 56. 56? It's pretty good. That's probably maybe the hot. No, that's the highest so far. But to be honest, the instructions were super clear. And it was, it was super, super simple. basic. Like I didn't mean to pick that out, but it was very basic. But that's good sometimes. It Especially is good when you sometimes. go to work for eight hours. Yeah, I, I kind of almost like feel like I need something else like but why would you get the burger option if you didn't feel like a burger? So it's like yes If you want a Cajun chicken burger, then this is the way to go. So absolutely 56 out of 60. I'm impressed. Hello fresh Is that how we did this week? Hello fresh. Um, your mom yes. wants to give you a recipe for next week. <laughs> Thanks mom. Mom's gonna give me a recipe for next week We'll put the Gail McCabe supposedly simple home recipes to the test Wait, I wonder if it's in the orange wake recipe realm or if it's like a meal recipe realm. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Tune in next week to find out. Don't forget that um, Gio has his show on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Is that going on this week? Yeah, yeah. Best thing ever. Tuesdays, best thing ever. 7 p.m. Best thing ever. Tune Live in. Live Bento. They're, they're testing out the best things ever uh, around Vancouver, tasting them, talking about them, telling you which one's best. The cinnamon bun one was awesome. If you haven't checked that out, head over to the Live at Bento page. Um, and then don't forget to subscribe and do all the things with the clicking and the buttons and the pressing of the things to make sure you get the notifications about tuning into our show next week. Same time, same place, supposedly simple. Michael, you can do it this week. Stay simple. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da. <laughs>